Okay. Joan, this speech was a speech to inform. And did you do a form? Of course you did. You did it munificently. Is that a word? Can I, can I make it an, an, an adverb now, guys? It is now. <clears throat> but you have uh, five questions here that I need to go through, and I'm going to answer them very quickly. Was your speech directed to the interests and the background of the audience? Well, you talked about the roles of Toastmasters and what you can, what the advantages of being a part of Toastmasters and you went through all the different uh, goals and all the different um, missions that we have to accomplish during throughout the year. So you did, you, you went ahead and had a nice background and gave us a lot of information. I'll say that for last. The next question was what methods did the speaker use to support his or her major points? Well, I really think Joe used two types of visual aids. One was the PowerPoint, which was very well organized. Everything was very well in chronological order, and everything was visible, even from, I think, everybody in the back there. The second visual aids you were using were your hands. I think your hands were a little bit way out here <laughs> when you were talking. And I think that you should kind of like bring them in a little bit and allow that to be more focused around you rather than people trying to follow your hands. Okay? Just a point to take. Uh, how did the visual aids enhance the audience's understanding? I was able to follow along with the visual aids and I, I'm sure that most of everybody here was able to follow through with the visual aids. I think some of the uh, abbreviations people had some problems with, and then at near the end, you were kind of rushing through them. But other than that, it was very well uh, organized and presented. How knowledgeable did the speaker appear about the subject? Well, being president now, it sounds like you're very knowledgeable about everything. It seems like you did your homework. You went ahead and organized everything way properly, and you basically covered all the <coughs> ways that we have to go ahead and and complete our mission and our objectives. And your research was very well done. The, some of the things that I would probably do to correct is, one is you were very serious up here. And I, I thought maybe I was looking for a little uh, joke or a little something to, to grab everybody's attention again, you know? Kind of hearing people, you know, just have a little humor in there somewhere, and I didn't see it. And uh, the other thing was, you went over time. Now, being a speech is, as com complex as this one, my personal opinion, I would have probably broke it into two, part one and a part two speech. It's a lot of information there to cover, a lot of information to absorb, so I would have probably broken up into two different speeches. But other than that, you did very well. Thank you.